the Gibbons are going to Java to um, reinforce local populations in, in certain areas where the Gibbons are still there, but their numbers have fallen uh, to such a level that the genetic diversity is being lost. Um, and also to reintroduce them to areas where they used to be in the past, but due to having to feel the pet trade or human encroachment, they've, they've been moved out of. Their numbers are down to around 2,000 in the wild, so uh, they've been wiped out in certain areas. Um, so it, it's important to re-establish these populations, so it's, it's really important for us to work on this project. So a lot of threats uh, face gibbons in Java. Uh, there's not much uh, forest to live in, deforestation, but also unfortunately it's still, still in Java thought to be a reasonable thing to do to have one as a pet. Uh, so a lot of them that we have in our centre in Java, where our teams have gone out and rescued them, have actually been kept as pets and it's very heartbreaking. I've been at the centre, you know, when they come in, you get lovely little infant gibbons with uh, chains around their wrists or around their abdomens that obviously their mothers have probably been killed and then they've been taken for the pet trade and they've been raised on rice or bananas or quite inappropriate foods and often they're quite sick. So these are the kind of threats facing the gibbon and really every gibbon counts. So if we can send six from here, they're genetically different, the ones in Java, it's fantastic. Because we've set up a centre, the government is now uh, able to confiscate pets that have been held illegally. Previously they had nowhere to send these pets to, so there was no point in confiscating them. Now there is somewhere, there's somewhere that they recognise it's being capable of looking after them and rehabilitating them for releasing the wild. We have two centres, one in West Java, one in East Java, and both of them uh, really do a fantastic job. We have dedicated staff at both uh, sites and we have our own vet team out there and they care for job and gibbons in both centres, preparing them for release. Our teams confiscate them, usually as pets, um, bring them into the centre, make sure they're healthy, often they're not healthy when they arrive, uh, do a lot of tests and then gradually rehabilitate them and then release them. And it's really fantastic uh, to be involved with that work.